channel in this video I'm going to show you my university so uh, my investor is called Chonbuk National University it's in Jeonju in South Korea yeah so behind me that's the map of the whole university so we just at the main gate so I'm going to turn the camera to this side so that you guys can see the main gate that's the main gate that they just made so what's behind me that's the main gate it's a Korean star uh, kind of building it's called uh, Hanok Yeah, so what I've just showed you, we have a lot of this around the campus and this is just sitting areas where you can just sit with your friends, eat your lunch, hang out. Yeah, so guys, the building that I'm showing you is building 1.3. This is where we do the graduation ceremonies and sometimes this is where students write the Korean language school. So I'm going to show you from another angle. Yeah, so let's go. Keep going. <laughs> Okay, so this is how it looks like from the other angle yeah the building where we graduate this is the new silk road center a lot of things happen in this building but most importantly this is where you find the international office on the third floor um so for all foreign students that are planning to come to chambuk university this is the building that you should take note of so this is where we where you see that huge building there that's where we came from um, from the main gate so if I do like a 360 right so if I do a 360 if you're walking straight from the main build from the main gate you're going to see if you just walk straight you get to the new silk center building then if I move to my right um, yeah there's a statue of a tiger and it also has the school map right and if i move a little bit to the right um there's a white building just right in front of me when you graduate you need to take note of this building this is where you get your certificates and here on the side here on the side like that building right there there are some korean stuff in there so if you can't speak korean you should go into this building there is a machine where you can print your certificates and the like so this is another building to take note of okay and it's just besides the silk road and you know that's where we do the language school as you're going to see on our campus on Chunbuk National University depending on the season we'll have these vases and they'll have different types of flowers depending on the season so we're in summer and they just put this lovely 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 flowers here yeah that you're going to see on, on Chunbuk National University campus you're going to see a, a lot of statues of the people that came before um, before the leaders that are here and yeah you'll see that around um, the campus the building that I showed you earlier and on this building the one that I was saying you get all your certificates and stuff so on the fifth floor you've got the office of the academic affairs so for all the things that are related to your schoolwork you just come to this building or if you have some queries or something like that you can come to this building um, there's a lot of things that happen that goes on in here and you can all see it on the information uh, from the information uh, poster so let's move on we're going to go down okay so I'm going to go down not like down like going up up the road away from the silk center road just to go up to see what's there then yeah I'll show you when I get there video with my friend and we just noticed that the restaurant on the uh, new silk road it's open it's on a Saturday but it's open where you see those lights so if you can just follow my finger that's right there that's where you the restaurant is it's like a cafe and you can have coffee in there and lots of stuff so we need to keep going down the campus and sh so that you guys can see more 
So we're literally like just walking straight. So what you're going to notice with Chombok University, all the buildings have uh, numbers. So 4.3, this is the School of Law. So if you're a law student, that's your building. Yeah, then to the, more like to the left, there's a, like a cafeteria where my finger is pointing at. And this is literally to the right of the new Silk Road uh, building. Okay, let's keep moving. Just saw a campus map. So I just want to show you where we started from. We started from here. This is the main gate. The, so, so the CBU sign is somewhere around here. Then we got into the school like this, like this, like this. Then that's the building that I showed you where we do the language school and where we sometimes they do like graduation uh, thingies. Then we walk straight and we go to the New Silk Road building which is just on my, on my right. And 4.3 which I just showed you, that's the law school. So we're going to keep going straight so that we can see, we can... Um, show you other things as you can see from the map the school is quite big so i don't know if we'll cover everything but yeah you get the gist we'll cover the main things so i'm with my friend noni she doesn't want to be shown on video so i'm just gonna show you her back <laughs> she says hello and we're literally walking straight uh yeah, and the building that we're seeing just in front of us is 6.2. I wonder what is... Uh... Okay, we're walking down towards one of the highlights of the school. And is this like a sitting place? A... Okay, so one of the highlights of the school is this place right here. Um, they recently made it, I think... A few months ago, right, Noni? Yeah, they finished it. They finished it a few months ago. It's like a really nice place to just like hang out. And I don't know what you call that, like when the water is just. I'm just, I'm going to cross the road so that we can see more of it. So it has some um, like benches to sit. Um, then the water will be just doing its thing. And you can sit on those uh, benches with those uh, umbrella type of things. It's a really nice place to just hang out. And those uh, boards, they have written some inspirational um, things on those boards right there. I'm going to walk inside this so that we can see the view from there. Yeah, the highlight and at night it's really beautiful so I'm just going to walk in there walk with me <laughs> I think you should threaten to jump in what? just Jump in, jump in. <laughs> no, because I can't swim. <laughs> Jayu means freedom. And then Jogi is. This sign is supposed to be telling us why they chose freedom, justice, and creativity. As uh, <laughs> we're assuming, and this is written in Korea, and I think that's supposed to go give us the whole gist of why <laughs> they put the sign. <laughs> they did this last year, uh, yeah, and we don't know why they chose freedom, justice, and creativity. Mm -hmm. Korean dramas, you know that they're big on the romance. And you've got, I call them love sets. You have a lot of these swinging love sets all around campus. So you can come with your um, better half and you guys can swing at lunch or anytime that you're free. They're all over campus and you see couples most of the time just hanging out here. So. So this is the circle where we were at and to the right of there, that's when we, we had the sign, the Freedom Justice Creativity sign. So we literally did like a 360. 
and we're now going in that direction. So the main idea is to show you the library. So we're going to walk straight, then turn right. So we're literally going to do like that. So walk straight and just go like that. Yes. So, so this is the main library. We've got another one, uh, another small library. Uh, we'll show you later or maybe not. Yeah, but there's another library, but this is the main one. So if you go straight to your right, you have the engineering uh, building. Then to the left of this library, you've got uh, food science buildings as well as the animal science uh, buildings, the faculties. And yeah, to literally in front of the library, we've got the greenhouse here. Yeah, so that's the school greenhouse. Okay, this is a closer look at the uh, greenhouse. And down there we've got some farms. Maybe we'll go there. We'll see. But first we want to show you the library at a close angle. behind us no need to you can you're gonna see okay there's not a lot of uh, bicycles now because it's weekend but during the week we've got a lot of bicycles because most students use bicycles to get to the schools um, yeah so okay. now we need to move on to another part of the school Okay guys, so from the library, we're going to go to the dorms. We're getting a little bit tired because it's hot, lot. you guys. So from the library, if we walk straight, uh, we'll get to the, let me just flip it, to the greenhouse. And uh, when we're at the greenhouse, to the back of the greenhouse, that's where we get the school farm as well as the dorms. So we're going to walk down there. We'll show a little bit of the farm mm -hmm. and the domes, and I think we'll call it a day, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Something interesting we came across me and only is this, uh, like, is it like statues? Yeah, of like little animals, and they just like attach them to, to the trees just outside of the, just outside of the of the library they look so cute like a little a family type of thing yeah they're so cute like noni thought they were real animals <laughs> so we got closer and we saw that they're actually like i don't know it looks like it's made of clay yeah it looks like it's made from clay so this is the greenhouse we go to the greenhouse from the library now we're walking straight like okay so if you follow my finger try to follow my finger right there those are the domes so we're going to walk straight there we're going to pass through the farm or garden if you like yeah so we'll show you that okay these are more of the greenhouse uh, buildings yeah and here is a map of the um moving further down there are the greenhouses and now it looks like gardens this looks like rice right there it looks like rice um yes so this is rice um right here there's a lot of rice um yeah so we're gonna see more of the garden of the farm or garden I don't know which oh, appropriate like word tadpole. okay right here uh, part of the garden or, or farm you're looking at 
what uh, what what is this what is this i know those are like peppers red chilies red chilies i'm not sure what this one is oh that's a what 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 do you call this eggplants eggplants yes and those are like tomatoes Like Amaranth? Yeah, I don't know ah, that, that, that uh, leaf right there, we call it Bonongwe. We, it's, yeah, it's really, in Zimbabwe, like, it's eaten in the raw areas and like, we, hey, we, <laughs> like it we like it. Oh, yeah, it tastes nice, but, yeah, this, this looks like lettuce. Um, spring spring yeah. Yeah, so it's got a lot of vegetables, oh, that's maize the end of the farm or the garden and what we're literally looking at now is the domes right there and those are the school buses so if we walk that way remember the goal is to get to that building right there okay so we just saw a stage so just going to go to the top so that you can show you guys the view from the top and this is just literally opposite the garden if we cross the the what you call it the, the road this is the stage from the top of um, from the seats <laughs> the, on top and that's where they have like small when you know the when there's a small show happening and uh, what you call it, and students can come and just hang here yeah, but it, it looks like it's been long since they had any show here. The last time that... Mm -hmm. You wanted to say what, Noni? You need to check the bus check because they take their time. Ah, yes. So here you can get, get some... That's where the university buses park. And there's different stations for the bus throughout the campuses. And you need to check the bus schedule. Okay, so building's right just right in front of me. We're coming from the stage. Mm -hmm. That's the dorms. So we're literally going to walk towards the dorms. Noni and I do not stay at the dorms, so we don't know we're how. A big, strong, independent woman. Yes, because we're. <laughs> we don't yeah. need no man. <laughs> no. <laughs> because we like our space. I like my space. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we we'll stay outside in our own places. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we didn't um, get into the dorm. The like They're actually yeah, cheap. Expensive. They're actually cheap. But anyway, we just chose to stay on our own. So these are the dorms. Cook. Yes, you can't cook in the... And you have a roommate? Yes, so in the dorms we can't cook and you have a roommate. And you pay in advance. And you pay in advance, yes. Yes, so those are some of the disadvantages of staying in the dorms which we chose not to abide by yes so we stay outside so literally we're in front of the dorms have you ever been inside the dorms no okay i've never been inside the dorms too um so we're at the dorms it's region chamber one then i'm just gonna go around in circles so they've got an e-mart um and then there's another food place just besides the e-mart um yeah i know there's a separation between the boys dorms and the girls dorms i don't know which is which but anyway these are the dorms <laughs> 